welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a whole week in my life as a civil engineering student. <laughs> at the University of New Mexico, which is where I've been going for the past four and a half years. A little bit of background. So I graduate in less than a month. So December 11th is like my official graduation, except it's gonna be online. That's so exciting, right? Yeah, with literally just three weeks left of the semester, I figured I might as well show you guys what it's been like being an undergrad, working from home, from my apartment. And so I figured, why not show you guys what I'm doing? Yeah, so starting off my day, I actually I had a Microsoft Teams call with my senior design group. We're actually designing a whole concrete box culvert. Well, actually not a box culvert. We decided just to do a metal corrugated culvert. So we've been looking at drawings, actually designing what it's gonna look like, and literally putting together a 30% submittal so that we can present that. And that's basically like our whole project is designing this project from start to finish, finish as in 30% finish. And so we're developing this 30% plan and putting it together and then presenting it at the end of the semester. And if I would have been on campus and everything would have been normal, we would have had to present in front of like a really big lecture hall, most likely with like all of the faculty members watching us and critiquing us. But, Instead, it's gonna be on a Zoom meeting, which I'm actually kind of relieved about. So it's not gonna be as like bad as presenting in person. We do have to have our cameras on, and of course, like I'm gonna still look nice from the waist up. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of work for my internship. Um, that's gonna take me to like lunchtime. So Mondays are really all about my senior design group because I have a meeting at nine and then a meeting at three. And in the meantime, I, mo I mostly just work for my internship. Then Tuesdays and Thursdays are when I have classes. All right, time for a break. I'm about to make myself some lunch. I'm gonna make myself some tacos because I love some good tacos. So I have some tortillas here, some corn tortillas, and then I'm gonna make some guacamole. And then last night I prepared some black beans and sweet potatoes, and I'm gonna make that. All right, so I have my meal all done. Guac, sweet potatoes, and black beans on the bottom with crispy corn tortillas. It's one of my favorite meals, honestly. Delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna watch some Vampire Diaries and then this will be my break. Okay, so I actually just got done talking to like four different local restaurants here in Albuquerque because I'm doing a whole project for my sustainable engineering class. We got assigned to look at environmental impacts in different ways. And so my group decided, why don't we just look at local businesses here and ask them a few questions on single use takeout items and how it's either increased or decreased, most likely increased due to COVID. Okay, so I've been asking to speak with the manager and then asking them like a few questions because we've developed a whole survey for them. In total, I've surveyed eight different restaurants and I have the questionnaire here. I could read off some of the questions that we've asked. We, we like generated this whole survey and basically we're asking them like what type of dining experience do they practice? How much percentage of their to-go supplies was ordered like post pandemic? And then um, what type of materials do they use for their takeout orders? Like are they recycling them? If they were eating indoor or outdoor, were they using traditional plates or were they using single use items? And then asking them about like their water consumption, if that's increased or decreased since like they're not using as much traditional plates, so like less dishwashing. We're in the collecting data portion of the research project and next week we'll probably start collecting all the data and then crunching down the numbers and then making like the whole document. But yeah, that was on my to-do list, so just check that off. And now I'm actually gonna get ready to go work out. I'm gonna go to my parents' house because they have a at-home gym in their garage. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and uh, get a workout in, hang out with my family. And then maybe tonight I'll do a little bit more homework. 
probably not. But yeah, so that was today. And stay tuned for tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's Tuesday, and as you saw, I was writing in my journal. I don't always do this, but sometimes I like to kind of remind myself what I set my goals for at the beginning of the month, because I do like to do that. Um, so actually, some of my goals that I set this month was to read a book, in particular a finance book. So I really have been wanting to like learn more about investing and growing my money. Um, I really don't know hardly anything, so I picked up this book on Amazon called I will teach you to be rich it is less than ten dollars i'm a chapter in and it's been really really good so far first chapter was all about building your credit score and how to do that the best way possible he like simplifies everything and so far i really like how he's written the book and it's actually targeted for young people like in their 20s and early 30s so i really like how it's for beginners so I will let you guys know how this book is once I finish it. But anyways, that's one goal. My next goal for the month was to max out my back squat. I've been going really heavy on my squats at the gym and I wanted to hit 225 this month, so I did it last week. I also wanted to upload three videos onto YouTube this month. I'm on track for that. This will be my second video. My first one this month was my Austin vlog. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here. And yeah, so for in terms of school, today I have two classes. I have a class at 12.30, my hydrogeology class, and then my sustainable engineering class at 3.30. Both really interesting classes, and they're on Zoom. So I'll go ahead and make sure to vlog that, but right now it's uh, 10.40 and I'm gonna go me and my sister, we've been running every Tuesday together, so when I get back, I'm gonna log into my class right away and continue my day. Just finished our run. We ended up doing two miles at 8.20 pace. Um, our total time was 16.40, so not too bad. We're gonna shoot for 16 even next week. But yeah. Gotta go back to my apartment. I have a work meeting in like 15 minutes, so I gotta rush home, but I'm gonna drive safe. And then uh, class at 3.30, but yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday and today I've done three major things for school. So at 9.30 on Wednesdays, I always have my senior design group meeting with my entire class and we provide our professor with like a five minute update of what we've accomplished that week and what we plan to do the following week. About like an hour or so ago, I just got off a Zoom meeting with my sustainable engineering group which is the group that I'm doing a project for the local restaurants here in Albuquerque and how I had to interview them the other day. It was really nice because we actually just caught up with each other and had like a little bit of social hour or I guess social 15 minutes. And it was cool because like now with all these Zoom classes that we're taking, you know, we're logging on right at the hour and then the professor speaks right away and then we're just learning, 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 learning. Boom, the class ends, everyone's gone. Like, we're not talking with each other anymore. We're not chatting like 10 minutes before class starts in the classroom and like asking each other how our weekend was. So it was really nice to catch up with like other students and just like see what they're up to and how they're doing. They actually wanted to say hi to the vlog. So yeah, that was kind of cool. And 
And we just ended up discussing like what each person's gonna do for the final report because it's due a week from, I think tomorrow, actually a week from today, next Wednesday. Now I'm going to look into the senior graduation packet that I need to complete by I think December 1st. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that over with. I got my senior pictures in. They turned out so good. I'll insert some of them right here. But yeah, I'm super excited um, to graduate now and I actually have a game plan for graduate school. Yay, I'm so excited about that. But yeah, first step, I need to graduate and I need to make sure everything's in before I graduate so like I actually have something to show. Guys, we are on day four of the week. It is Thursday and we are almost there and I'm eating lunch at two. This hardly ever happens unless I get really busy in the morning and I was today because I had to go get tested for COVID and that took up like all of my morning. It was a long process and I'm gonna have to get tested again tomorrow because the test that I took today doesn't give me results until seven to 10 days later and I need to know before Thanksgiving. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get tested again tomorrow and I, I believe those test results come back within 48 hours or less, so fingers crossed. I'm about to eat some lunch now, and after that I have a class at 3.30. Um, I have a lot to do this afternoon and this evening in terms of work and school, so part of it is because I've been procrastinating it, and part of it is just like I've been really busy, so yeah. Uh, got a lot to do, but I think I can finish it. It's always really satisfying when I can get everything on my to-do list done. Um, I will keep you guys updated, but right now I'm about to eat. I just made myself some chicken, broccoli, and black beans. Well, I'm gonna eat that while I take my break because no matter how busy I am, I really like to get an hour in of just my time. Something that like gets me distracted and like away from school and away from work and that's usually like some type of like watching entertainment thing. Undergrads, you're just going to be modeling using this equation for 2D. Grad students, ultimately, you'll be using this equation for 3D because in the 3D model that I have assigned, uh, delta x equals delta y, but delta z is a different value. So you'll end up using this full 3D equation. Okay, so it's Friday and um, like I mentioned yesterday, I had so much I needed to get done. Luckily, I got everything on my checklist done. This weekend, I'm gonna have to really concentrate on finishing up my senior design project, well, at least my portion of it, because we're gonna be presenting to our mentors next week. And then the following week is our big final presentation to the entire class, to the entire civil engineering faculty. So I have to do that this weekend. I also mentioned that I had to go get tested for COVID this morning that was really fast compared to yesterday and um, yeah so like I said my friend got COVID I realized that I had seen her and so I was like shoot I should probably go get tested before Thanksgiving before I see my family so I went ahead and did that right away I should be getting my results in by in like the next day I will let you know once I'm editing this video if I'm good or not but yes the other thing I want to talk about was my degree so I did mention I'm a civil engineer, but I would also classify myself as like an environmental engineer slash a water resource engineer. So picture like civil engineering as a big umbrella and you have all these sub-disciplines within it. And there's transportation, geotechnical, environmental, water resources, structural, there's a lot more. And the University of New Mexico offers all of these and what you do your last two semesters of college is you really focus on those disciplines by taking electives. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm taking those electives, like my hydrogeology class and my sustainable engineering class are all electives that will contribute to my sub-discipline of environmental. Yeah, that's kind of like where I lie in there. I think civil engineering is such a great discipline to get into 
there's just so much that you can do with it. But yes, I would say that this last semester has been much easier than the past semesters. Like I've already gone through the difficult stuff, you know, calculus, physics, statics, soil mechanics, fluid mechanics. I've done all that. So I'm at the point where I'm taking the electives, I'm doing those project-based classes where I'm putting together all the things that I've learned the past four years and applying it to an actual project that exists, like my corrugated metal culvert. So it's been really rewarding, I think. Um, now that I'm graduating, I'm getting more excited. And the fact that I have so much more time to do things now that I love, like this, like starting my YouTube channel, I've just been really happy about it. And I'm super excited to enter this new phase of my life of graduate school and sharing the process with you guys because I think it'll be really valuable and helpful for me to look back on too and be like, hey, I can't believe I did all this. And, and it's just gonna be great. So. If you made it this far in the video, please like this video, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back very soon before the end of the month with a new video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.